What is going on guys, this is Hybrid Maniac. We are doing a quick tutorial video on how to speed up your computer for practically no cost. Uh, well, this video is meant to be um, for the people who have not the best computers in the world. For example, 32-bit Intel Core i3s, those sort of computers. And to speed it up, like you've seen, probably you may have seen like lots of videos on how to speed it up. And all that, but this is a pretty unique way on how to speed up the processor mainly. The processor is what makes the computer run anti-lag, or makes it run properly. So I'm going to make you sure that you pay attention to this and make your computer better. Uh, for the cost of everyone else for free. Anyway, so, I've just got a little thing here I want to say. When you, when you buy the computer, your processor is not unlocked at its full potential when you get it shipped to you, or wh wherever you get it shipped to. So... If you have Intel Core i7, it's not the best of its potential, but it's still pretty good. Now, to prove I have a crap computer, I have my st standard student laptop, uh, Edistar. Now, this does not require any changes to the system or anything, so it won't make any differences to files or whatever. Right, so, um, as you can see there, I have, like, the standard computer. So, we go exit that, and the tutorial starts now. So... Uh, there's this administrator tab thing called manage that may, depending on your computer, takes a bit to load. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And what you do after this is you go to device manager. Now, because my computer is mediocre, it does take a bit to load. Right, so what you want to do, just ignore this for now. Right, what you're going to do is just click on that, add legacy hardware. This is comes after this and all that you press next in uh, advanced don't worry I'll let I'll go that through for you right so what you want to do it should be somewhere it's <laughs> system devices there we go okay now what you want to do because you have all these different sort of um, things, right? What you want to do with the hardware, if you have Microsoft, you go with that, okay? So go with Microsoft, not this, not Intel, no, okay? What you want to do when you click Microsoft, not Microsoft Corporation, just Microsoft, right? At the top, is ECP node that like unlocks your full in processor potential you press next it installs and you gotta let it wait depending on the computer <laughs> mine's not the best but it, it'll take its time so while it does that uh, I'll get back to you when it finishes okay here we go Oh, well, we've done the slight tutorial. Uh, there we go. Uh, and what you have to do now is technically restart the thing. Okay. Um, don't mind that. So now all you have to do is basically close it. Uh, and then you have to restart your computer. And then you have to just do that. Uh, but until that, uh, that's pretty much it. Until then, uh, stay tuned for more computer-based videos. I'll be seeing you in the next videos. Goodbye.